The Condor Village Parang. Oh yeah. The Condor Village Parang. This is a traditional knife out of Malaysia and Indonesia and used for some of the heavily wooded jungle areas and it's really made for chopping. That's the big thing about the Parang that is superior over to a lot of other machete types and that has to do with the heavy wood that's in those areas in Southeast Asia. Uh, South America and other places there's a lot of vines and so a machete works fine but this Parang really is a chopping maniac. Parangs are typically about 10 to 24 inches in length and they ha they're broken up into three separate areas and you have your outside area right here at the tip that's really made more for skinning and then right in the center is made for your chopping and then right here near the handle is a more of a flat area and this is made more for detail work or even for carving. Now Condor does a fantastic job of making this look authentic and yet it still looks very well finished and modern and one of the things I really love about the Parang right up front is this hammered blade finish it just really looks like they've taken an old piece of steel and formed this blade out of it and speaking of steel it's a 1075 high carbon steel so you're gonna need to take care of it but what I really love about high carbon steel is it's just incredible cutter I love the way carbon steel feels and really my favorite steel uh, with any of my knives is carbon steel. And of course right below the hammered finish is this polished area right here of the blade. And then it goes down to the edge. And the edge itself is really sharp uh, right out of the box. But the spine on this knife is incredible. It's 3 16 in thickness. And you know I'm a big fan of the kukri. And I really love the thickness of the blades. You know, you're going to get a lot of different manufacturers that produce these in mass, and they typically have a real thin blade. And those are prone to break, and they're just not that good at cutting and chopping. Uh, I do love this thickness, especially for a survival bushcraft type knife. And then, of course, you can see that there is a total full tang all the way around, even with the unique parang handle that has this bulb at the end. This really gives you a good gripping surface and then it allows for your hand to stay in place and not slip off the back. Plus, you can get some leverage in the back here so when you're chopping and swinging, it really gives you a lot of gripping surface. Now on the blade is stamped very clearly Condor and these are made in El Salvador. And again, they're very high quality made. The tempering on these are exceptional. And everything I've ever dealt with with Condor has been really incredible. But the first time I saw one of these, I was in Going Gear down in, outside of Atlanta. And Marshall had some of these in stock. And it's just a, as soon as I saw it, I wanted one. And so it, these are just really great knives. And one of the cool things about it, we had a big uh, pig roast. And the guy that was the chef had bought one of these and was using it to do all the chopping uh, for the meat. And man, this thing was incredible. The blade itself is 12 inches in length and it's just a little over 18 inches in overall length. Now the handle is hardwood and it's really well finished, very smooth. You have brass rods that go through in three points. And then you have a brass tube here for your lanyard. It has a really nice sheath, leather, brown leather sheath with two snap points. And then it's opened at the top. Even the inside of the sheath itself is very well finished. It's not super rough like you see a lot of raw leathers. Then it has these little patches where the snaps fit to protect your blade. The stitching is exceptional, very well done. Of course, you have your points here where it's riveted together. Also, your belt loop swivels, and we're gonna look at that in a minute, why that is so advantageous with this uh, sheath. Of course, the blade just slides in, 
the open area right here, it makes it easy to be able to pull it loose. And even these snaps will fold out of the way to be able to let you pull your knife out with ease. I considered putting a lanyard on here to wrap it around my leg to keep the sheet from moving. But if you'll notice, it's kind of difficult to pull out in this direction, plus it can be somewhat dangerous. So instead, with the swivel on the belt loop, it makes it much easier and much safer. Plus the snaps swivel around, which makes it easier to be able to insert it and not cut the straps. But one of the things I definitely want to warn you about is to be careful when pulling this knife in and out because it is extremely sharp and with the weight of this knife, it could really do some damage. So you really need to be careful when handling the parang. Now I have a lot of dead wood on the property, but I'm clearing a trail, and so this tree just happens to be in the way. The chopping action is just phenomenal. Clearing off these small branches is done with ease. Making stakes is really easy. Just go ahead and cut in. Taking the back side of the blade, scrape all that off, get your bark. Even a low flame fire like this can really be a morale booster when it's really cold. I mean, it's 27 degrees here and in South Carolina that's pretty unusual. So having a little fire makes it really nice. The parang is made for chopping. It's not really made for splitting wood or really getting large pieces of wood, even though it can do it with ease. And because of the weight, you can really get behind it and it will chop in a hurry. But this is fantastic for getting underbrush and going through uh, I think it suits a multitude of purposes uh, with this blade shape. In fact, with a smaller knife, I think this would be a fantastic survival knife in the outdoors or a great bushcraft knife. The Parang is one of the machetes that John Lofty Wiseman, and who wrote the SAS Survival Handbook, recommended the Parang. And I'll tell you, during World War II, a lot of Indonesians and Malaysians took out a lot of Japanese soldiers with these as weapons. So not only do you have a good bushcraft knife, you also have a suitable weapon if needed. Now you can find the Condor Parang at GoingGear.com and I think the manufacturer suggested retail on these is $74.98. But at Going Gear, they mark them for $63.73 uh, and then you get a 10% discount using Such and the coupon code. So that gives you another $6.30 or $0.40 off of the price and free shipping for any orders over $49. So it's a fantastic deal on the Condor Parang. And um, I'll tell you, use Such in the coupon code to get the discount, and it really helps things out. Guys, even after all that banging, I mean, look at that. That's incredible. The Condor Parang, that's sweet. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
Uh, John, John, John Lofty Wise Man. Who but Condor does a tr incredible. Yep, I smoke cigars. It'd be kind of nice to sit out here and smoke one. <laughs>